Hello music producers and welcome to this exciting video. In this particular video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make any sample you're working with to fit any particular tempo. So we have this simple beat going on as you can see. And as you can see, I have this drum loop right here. As you can see, it's 136 BPM and the project file is also 136 BPM. So everything goes fine. Let's have a listen. <music> Alright, so you can see that went to it. So now in any situation where we want to like maybe change the drum loop, okay? Now if I'm to drop this in directly, you notice that it's going to sound very, very, very off. So you can see it's sounding off beat entirely. Alright, so the easiest way to do this to make a sample fit a tempo, okay, is you go over to the project right here. Go over to the project right here. You can right click on it all right and you go down here to fit to tempo okay you go to fit to tempo you click on it and then you see you have different options right here okay so now where you want to go you want to type in the bpm now this is a situation where you know what the bpm of that um beat is okay so because i know the bpm as you can see the bpm is 130 okay as you can see right here is 130 so i'm gonna go ahead and type in 130 right here and then i hit the checkbox and once this, once that is done, as you can see, it now restretches the whole beat to fit that particular um, tempo. So now if we play back the beat, you see it goes very smooth. So now there are situations where you might not know the ppm of the beat in this case what you need to do is you need to actually detect and find out the ppm um using fl studio okay and fl studio has a great function for doing this so you can just go over to the loop and you right click you click on detect tempo okay what this does is that it detects the tempo for that particular loop and you just go ahead and select a range right here i'm going to go ahead and select 75 to 150 so as you can see, it tells us that the tempo for this sample has been detected as 106.002 BPM. Okay, so that is very, very accurate. You can just go ahead and ignore the decimals that we have right here. All right, and that is okay. But as, as a computer, you know, it's not 100% perfect. Okay, there are some times when it doesn't get it right. All right, for example, if we go over to this second drum loop that we added, okay, and we try to detect the tempo, as you can see, it comes up with something that is totally, totally off from what the right BPM is. It's coming up with 86.667, which is totally not it, okay? It's totally not it. So another way to go about this without the BPM information, okay, is you go over to that same beat, okay? That same loop, you right click on it and you go over to fit to tempo again. Well, instead of typing in the BPM, you type in beats. Now what this does is that it shows, it takes you on a number and stretches out to that number of beats as you can see we have 16 here we have four beats here four beats here four beats here and four beats here so the beat is going to end here so it's going to stretch out the loop for it to end at this particular point and if we hit the check mark okay you can see it just stretches out and makes it fit that particular loop and that is just awesome that's just great all right so that is how to go about it when you don't have the bpm information now, one thing you should be aware of when stretching beats and when making beats fit a tempo, okay, is the mode right here. So if you double click on this, okay, we can have the mode right here and you can see it is set to stretch right now, okay. But you can have different modes and different modes kind of have slight effects to the, to the sound, okay. You can have it at stretch, you can have it at auto. As you can see, auto, you can see the peaks are kind of high, okay. Sometimes when you do it by default, it just sets it to auto, but I kind of prefer um, setting it to stretch. And these different modes affect it in different ways. So it's good to select um, the right mode when stretching out the samples. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. If you did like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and also enable notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos when I drop them. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you in the next one.